Holy! Sam Beam, go away! Fly away now! How's it going guys? It's a final render here and welcome back to Subnautica. In the last video of Subnautica, we went ahead and did some expansion on our base and we made ourselves a seam off so we could go and do some exploring. And I've actually done a little bit of grinding behind the scenes so that we can actually fill out our base a little bit more. And I went ahead and fully fitted all of the batteries needed and all the power cells needed. It took a really long time to grind for all that. But seeing as it was just kind of an extra thing, I thought I'll do that in my spare time. And of course in the last video, we also got our nuclear power up and running. But for this video of Subnautica, we're going to do some pretty cool things. I actually rebuilt my seam off already. And we're going to actually make our base fully self-sustaining. We're going to work on making water and food production unlimited in this base. So that we never have to worry about getting food. And we never have to worry about getting water. And we can do that with a few simple pieces of technology. And here we are. We are now going to go ahead and make some water filtration machines. And the point of these machines is that it gives you fresh water on regular basis and also it gives you salt and with that salt you can convert that into actual water as well so these only cost two titanium each which is really not bad I'm definitely not complaining there we go so these water filtration machines in time intervals will create water and salt and the salt we can also convert into water as well by turning it into bleach but the main thing we need to worry about now that's sorted is food and the best way to get food that isn't going around catching the fish of course is to go ahead and make a garden so let's go ahead and put some big ones right on these parts here okay so this is the plan of our little farm right here we have got an awful lot of stuff and we just need titanium for them all the small little potted plants need one titanium each and the bigger ones need two all right, so that's the bigger grow beds already fully established. And now we just need to go ahead and do the smaller ones. The smaller ones are only one titanium each, but I'm now out of titanium. So how about we go ahead and get some seeds for our plants. And in the meantime, we'll also keep an eye out for any titanium along the way. And the best way to get a source of food is to go and head to the island, which is over there. It is known as the Floating Island, and we haven't been there in any Subnautica videos. So let's get to it. All right, here we are at the Floating Island. It is called the Floating Island because there are very large fish, known as floaters, just keeping this entire island afloat. So this island actually isn't connected to anything else. It is purely floating and drifting on the top of the ocean. Now, if you look up there, you can see there actually is a structure up there already. And that structure was built by the survivors of the Degassi. You may remember I mentioned them in the last video. They were the first load of humans to be shot down by the precursor gun. And they actually built their little home right here aboard this island. And the thing is that no known members of the Degassi have survived. I believe they have all died since then or moved on somewhere else. So everything here is fair game go ahead and head up to this little observatory right on the top of one of this mountain. They built two observatories at the top of the mountains, one right there and one over there in the distance as well. Here we go. As you can see, it's it's seen better days. This place is definitely rusted. Oh, got some water right there. So here we go. This is what the grow beds will look like, but we just need to basically go ahead and grab some of this fruit. Ah, we've got a PDA here. I nearly forgot that. Let's go ahead and grab that. As I said, at one point, I'll probably do a video where I just read all of these PDAs as soon as I find all of them so we can get a really good idea of the story of Subnautica and the survivors of this planet. Alrighty ho, so let's go ahead and plant some of our first seeds. We will... Oh, I just ate one. We will put four in there. And we'll go ahead and put one in there as well. So obviously it doesn't look like much now, but eventually they will start growing. And we will be able to not only extract food from there, but we can also replant them. Alright, we've made it over to the other observatory, which is on top of the other mountain. And let's see what we got in here. Alright, we've got some potato right there. That is fantastic. Let's grab a load of those. Uh, we don't really need that many. And uh, to tell you the truth, we probably only need, probably only need one, because they will start to develop their own seeds, won't they? But anyways, let's take another look around. Oh, we got a PDA right in here. We will grab that from the Degassi survivors. And there is just one more place on the island which has more seeds to grab. And that is lower down. So let's go ahead and find that. It can be a bit of a maze, this island. Oh, no, nope, there it is over there. Never mind. All right, let's see what we got. 
Alright, it looks like it's going to be pretty hard to find an easy way in. Alright, here we go. We have got a PDA right here. The Gassy Voice Log 2. Storm. Okay, I believe we can get up onto the roof as well. Yep, there is a container over there. But over here we've got some more food. What have we got? We've got some Chinese potato. We've already got that. And got a small melon. A marble melon. There we go. Alright, here we go. You have to kind of jump on the roof somehow. And let's go ahead and see what's in the crate. We've got a med kit in there by the look of it. And, uh... Yeah, that appears to be it. Is there anything on the bottom floor down here? We've got another crate of supplies. We've got a battery. I'll take that. But that's looking like it. Oh, the water filtration machines are going. Hey, hey, look at all the water it's made. There we go. So we've got big filtered water. That gives me 50. Nice. And of course, it also still has for salt as well. So we've basically got unlimited water supply now, which is absolutely fantastic. But let's go ahead and focus on our farm here. Hey, the trees are starting to grow already. That is absolutely awesome. Okay, so let's go ahead and plant some of the things we got. We'll put the Chinese potato ones in here. There we go. We'll grab the marble. Oh, it's already planted. We can't remove it. Okay. How about we go ahead and use the smaller ones as well? Oh, darn it. I just ate it. <laughs> All right, so the plants are 66% grown currently, which is brilliant. These guys are going to be my new family. I don't need survivors. We have got a fantastic source of friendship right here. All right, so the plants are fully grown and their fruit is starting to appear. So that means we can actually grab some of the seeds and replant them. So we will have an unlimited supply of food. Let's actually go ahead and try some, seeing as my character is starving. It doesn't give you much food, but it does give you enough to live off for the day. And that's perfect, really. So let's go ahead and grab some more. We also need to think about our protein as well. Oh, we've got a message. We actually have been getting messages on a very regular basis from the Sunbeam, which is a trading ship that is on its way to rescue us. So let's go ahead down to the electronics room, see what they say. Aurora, it's Sunbeam. We've made orbit, and scans have found a landing site on the planet that's <gasps> only rated hazardous. It's our best shot. We've sent you the coordinates. We'll be there in two days' time. Cross your fingers, the weather holds. And don't leave us waiting. Sunbeam out. Okay, okay, guys. Things just completely changed. This is brand new. I've never seen this. The Sunbeam will arrive in 40 minutes. But the only problem is... <laughs> The only problem is, the precursor gun is still active. Where are they going to put? Oh, they're going to land right by the mountain island. That's where the gun is. Alright, seam off, my man. I need you right now. Let's head straight to the island. And see if we can actually get inside the precursor base, disable the gun, and save the sunbeam so they can save us. Yeah, guys. The sunbeam is going to land directly next to the precursor gun. The... This is terrible, guys. If we don't disable this gun, the sunbeam is going down, and then all hope of being rescued is lost. I really didn't want to actually enter the precursor base yet. I wanted to have some better equipment and do some more exploring. But we've got no choice right now. We really have to save the sunbeam. Okay, here we are in the precursor base. I think we actually kind of glitched through this little gate here. But guys, this is where the precursors lived. The precursors were an alien race that lived here maybe millions of years ago. All we know is that they're not around anymore. And this architecture is amazing. It's still a bit laggy, the game is still an alpha. But holy crap people, look at this place. It looks absolutely amazing, it's so pretty. What do we got here? Purple artifact. Ah, in season one we found some orange artifacts. So maybe these are kind of like keys in order to open some more of those force fields that we glitched through? Who knows? Like a terminal or something. Okay, so it gave us a data log which it translated. Yep, I'll read that later on. What on earth are these here? Are these Minecraft blocks? An ion crystal. It is friggin' huge, that's what it is. How much space does it take up? Oh, it only takes up one slot in the inventory. Well, I'll take up two then. We got another gate right here. I don't think we'll glitch through this one. Can I just walk through? Nope. What about this terminal? Of ah, so they are keys. You find the purple ones and slot them into the into a little hole. And that deactivates the field. Nice. 
terminal just going to be another data log for us to read later? All right, it's given us a signal now. What is that signal then? Coordinates. Secondary research facility. There's another alien base? We'll definitely have to check that out later on. What on earth is this here? It looks like another one of those gates. What the... Nice! It's an elevator. Like a zero gravity elevator. Oh, that is so cool. Okay, well. Hopefully that elevator can take us up as well, because otherwise... We're... Oh, we've got another artifact there. Uh, we actually used our purple artifact, so I guess there would have been another force field there, maybe? This is the moon pool that they used to get into the base with their kind of Cyclops equivalent submarines. That is a big moon pool. That is far bigger than the actual Cyclops. So these guys definitely had a pretty huge variety of vehicles. Man! Like, th there isn't really anything here, by the way, of civilizations or anything. There's only those computers and stuff. But this... Okay, the fish outside are making noise. But the huge amount of space they have got. What the hell is this? Is this a Stargate? Oh, is this... Ah, I think this is one of the teleporters. There are teleporters in this game. I don't think they're active anymore for this build of the game. But there is a teleporter you can activate to take you to other places around the map. So, that's cool. Huh? This is it, people. This is where we can potentially disable the gun. All I know is that this is what does it. I have no idea what actually happens when you try to... Okay, they're just lights. I thought they were turrets. Ooh, guys. Okay, disable the weapon. Let's try it. Holy crap! Ooh! Ooh, that must have hurt. Control panel is broadcasting a message. Translation. Is broadcasting a message. Translation reads, Warning, infected individuals may not disable the weapon. This planet is under quarantine. Wait, the planet is under quarantine? Okay, so the precursors knew about the Kara virus. They knew that this place was dangerous, so therefore they set up the precursor gun to stop people coming here and spreading the Kara virus around the universe. The precursors are trying to save everyone. But guys, we haven't been able to disable the gun. That means in 26 minutes and 45 seconds, the sunbeam is going to get shot down and we have no way to tell them. I guess the only thing left to do is wait until they arrive and hope the gun doesn't work or misses maybe. And if they do survive, we'll have to do a rescue mission. Scans of available alien data indicate the presence oh, here we go. of a second facility elsewhere on the planet. Evidence suggests it is located 800 meters below sea level, approximately one kilometer southwest of this installation. Information recorded to data bank. Okay, 800 meters down and about a thousand meters away. That sounds like it's going to be around the active lava zone. All right, so let's head back to the Seamoth and then we'll be able to go ahead and just wait for the Sunbeam and hope it survives. But you know what, guys? I don't think it is. I'm glad I bought this water. What? Oh, no, 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 no. No, we're not ready for this yet. But the Sunbeam, it, it's close. No. It, it's locked onto the Sunbeam already. There's nothing we can do. That's it. Game over, man. Where's the sunbeam? Listen to that noise. Attention. Here we go. This is them. A local broadcast from the sunbeam. I don't believe it. There's someone down there. A human voice. Aurora, survive. Sunbeam, get away. Get away now. Signature. I don't know how you walked away from that wreck. Let alone there it is! Survive. There's the sunbeam! We'll be happy to bring oh man, the gun's tracking it. To Federation space. Stand back. We're approaching the sunbeam, go away now! Breaking atmosphere in five, four, three. No. What is that? No, the red spike. Holy! From sunbeam, go away! Fly away now! <laughs> Oh, 
Sunbeam's gone. Sunbeam was our only chance of rescue for years. God damn it. We tried to disable the precursor gun, but we weren't able to because of the Kara virus. The Sunbeam itself has now been obliterated. Alright, well, let, let's quickly go and see if we can find any survivors. Quickly get to the old Seamoth. See if we can find anyone over there. Caution. Passing safe depth. Yep, we're at our depth, we're at our depth right now. And there appears to be no survivors of the Sunbeam. Man, that was insane! The, the, the way it just like gave me a timer and said 40 minutes, and I knew I only had a small amount of time in order to try to disable the gun, but I couldn't. Uh, all because the precursors knew. They knew that the Kara virus was already on the planet, so they decided to build this gun just to prevent other people from landing on the planet so the Kara virus couldn't be spread around the universe. There are some things to do though, like we still gotta build all the vehicles and explore. We now know about the secondary research facility, which we'll have to explore. Maybe the cure for the Kara virus is down there, who knows. But I just keep thinking like, if I hadn't have built the communications array, then it wouldn't have sent out the signal to the sunbeam and maybe I would have found a cure for the Kara virus before bringing them down here. But since I already built the communications array and told them I was in need of help, they immediately came here to try to rescue me. So they're, they're dead because of me. Well, they're dead because of the precursor gun, but I could have saved them if I had known that they were coming so soon. <sighs> Damn it. Man, I feel really down. You know, this is just a very cheap little game. And it's made me feel terrible. It really has, because that was my fault. However, not all hope is lost. We still have other vehicles to explore and things to look at. If we go over to the vehicles bay, there is a rocket base currently in the game. So there is another way to get off the planet when they add the rest of the parts to it. But of course that will still mean disabling that cursed pre precursor gun. So that we can actually leave the planet one day. And I'm sure getting all the resources to actually make that rocket will have to take us to every single location in Subnautica. And not only that, but we were able to explore the Precursor base. We managed to fix up our own base a little bit with a garden. And on top of that, we now know of a second Precursor base. Let me know what you guys think. Do you think that if I hadn't built a communications array, would they have been able to save us? Or do you think that they were doomed anyway? So guys, thanks very much for watching. This has been the final render. Let's try to get 300 likes on this video. In the previous ones, I was a bit too ambitious by saying over 1,000. Let's get 300 likes on this video, and I'll be pretty darn happy. So, this has been the final render, and we are still on the planet. So, until next time, farewell.